morning worship. It is known as the Kakad Arti. The worship of Lord Vithala begins with the Mangala Arti, and the ceremony starts at four o'clock in the morning. After the Arti, the Lord is offered Pancha Abhishek, a bath with milk, yogurt, ghee, honey, and sugar water. At some point, the bathing is interrupted so that the Lord may be fed butter mixed with sugar candy. A big lump of butter is literally put into his mouth. Then a short arati is offered and the bathing resumes. After the bath, the Lord is meticulously dressed and profusely garlanded. Finally, he is offered a mirror in which to view his appearance. As a token of his merciful nature, Lord Vithala allows everyone to watch his bathing ceremony. After this, the crowds till then restrained along the walls of the Darshana Hall are led into the Sanctum Sanctorum. Daily, thousands of devoted pilgrims take Darshana. Darshana means seeing of the Lord. It is also the unique tradition in Pandarpur that everyone can go up to the altar and touch the lotus feet of the deity. Some pilgrims even rest their heads upon his feet, but one has to move on quickly. After taking darshan, pilgrims re-enter the darshan hall. Looking back, they get a last glimpse of the Lord's attractive form. In the buzzing atmosphere of the Darshana Hall, they fall flat on the floor, offering obeisances. Then holding each ear with a hand across from it, they turn about, springing up and down on the same spot, begging the Lord to forgive any offenses that they may have committed at His lotus feet. Temple of Lord Vithala One of the pillars of the hall the Garuda Stamba represents Garuda, the eagle who serves as the carrier of Lord Vishnu. Pilgrims embrace the pillar with the prayer that towards the end of life, Garuda will carry them back to Vaikuntha. On the way out of the Darshana Hall, one sees hanging from the ceiling the famous eight prayers known as Pandurangashtakam, which is composed by the Acharya Sankara during his visit to Pandarpur in the 8th century. Each verse glorifies the beauty, qualities and devotees of the Lord and ends with the refrain Parabrahmalingam Bhaje Pandurangam meaning I worship the supreme spiritual form of Lord Panduranga. In the same temple compound behind Lord Vithala's shrine stands the shrine of Srimati Rukmini Devi, the Lord's beautiful consort. Darshana, offerings and aritis go on all day, except for a short break in the afternoon when the deities take rest. After the last arati, at 11 o'clock, the pujaris change the Lord's dress and chant special hymns asking Him to rest for the night. Just as the Lord played the role of father and grandfather in Dwarka, here too he reciprocates affectionately with his devotees. A famous painting depicts him in a fatherly mood, carrying several devotees, some on his shoulders, some around his waist, and others holding his finger as they walk beside him. The VI in Lord Vitoba's name denotes knowledge and toba denotes shape. This is a shape of knowledge or the idol of knowledge. Another meaning is that the word vithala is said to be derived from the Marathi word vit, meaning brick. The reason behind the brick will be explained later. Ba is used to denote father in Marathi. Lord Vithal or Lord Vitoba is none other than Lord Vishnu, Lord Narayana or Lord Krishna. It is believed 
that Lord Krishna had incarnated at the end of Dwarpa Yuga on the eighth day of the dark fortnight in the holy month of Shravan, as per the Hindu calendar. His lovingly called names like Pandurinath, Panduranga, Pandariraya, Vithaya, Vithoba, Vithumauli, Vithal Gururao by his devotees. But the well known and commonly used names are Pandurang, Panduranga, and Sri Vithal or Vithal. Now, the story of Brick in Marathi is known as Vit. Lord Shankar told Parvati, the brick thrown by Pundalik to Panduranga is not an ordinary brick, but Lord Indra himself. Long ago, there was a demon named Vitrasur who was killed by Indra by a trick. While dying, the demon cursed him to become a brick. However, he was told that he will be expelled from this curse when Lord Vishnu will stand on the brick. So Indra was forced to accept the brick body. As a brick, Indra had got the good fortune of being in the house of Pundalik. It was this brick which Pundalik threw for Lord to stand on. As a result, Indra was free from the curse.